So I'm going to try an ink wash self-portrait in this um, Strathmore mixed media notebook that I have. I haven't really tried to do anything more realistic with ink in here. Although I'm not really going for realism with this, I'm going to play around with like making the ink more stylized. So I'm going to kind of uh, experiment while I'm going on this one. So here I've started by marking in all of my darkest values. I always like to do that when I'm working in ink wash. Um, it just kind of helps me keep track of what I'm doing. I like to do each color, uh, well, rather each shade one at a time, or I try to anyway. You'll also notice the little uh, blue patches are actually masking fluid. Those are just areas I wanted to make sure stayed white despite painting around them. The thing I found interesting here is that it kind of took on this kind of cartoonish appearance until I added the midtones. It was kind of funny. You'll notice that I have small jars of ink wash all labeled one through five. That is how diluted they are and I just got tired of mixing it every single time so I just mixed it all into individual jars so I could just get started every single time. In this spot the sweater I was wearing in the reference photo that I used had this kind of speckled appearance. So I used those paper towels to mask the rest of the image from the, the splatters I was trying to make. I like the effect it created. It's kind of like a, a subtle thing, but I was, I was looking to experiment here, so. While I was doing this, I was thinking very critically about what lines and shadows in the face that I was going to add versus which ones I wasn't. I find that's always kind of a hard set of decisions to make because if you're trying to really copy something, you always feel compelled to add every single line and shadow, but it really kind of starts to emphasize um, things in people's faces that make them look older or just kind of make them look more tired. We just kind of expect to see less of those things. Like for instance, like you'll see here, I didn't add any dark circles under the eyes yet, but even when I do add that, I try to keep it very subtle. I'm adding in some very subtle light tones that I've actually mixed specially um, just to kind of create the blonde look of my hair. And I'm doing the same on my skin, just kind of adding a little more shading here and there. Now I'm erasing the masking fluid and that way you can see where some of these highlights are that we're missing, like in the eyes. Here I'm going and cleaning some of that up now, adding some smoother edges to things. So this is the part that I had had envisioned um, from the beginning. What I was planning to do is put these big drips of ink everywhere. 
And I was kind of thinking blood. I wasn't sure that that's what I was going for at first. Now, the surprising thing here is that this paper has a lot of texture. So you'd think that making this black ink drip would be really easy, but it's not. It was gripping the paper really hard, so I had to keep adding more and more ink. Each time, you'll notice me doing that, and I'm sitting there very subtly trying to get these drips without messing up the other previous drips by tapping on the table. I didn't want them to look like jagged and weird. There were also a couple of these drips that I actually took a photo of the work I was doing and took it into um, a digital sketch program and like tested some places to put the drips because I was really afraid that like, I was just gonna mess everything up.
after letting this sit for a few days, I was able to look at it and I decided that I needed to add just a little bit more shading into the face. Um, I felt like the black ink drips were too contrasting with everything else. I also kind of felt like there was a, there were a few details missing, like I wanted my freckles in there and um, I felt like the shading around the nose was incomplete. I also, the final step was that I went in and um, added kind of the halo of frizz around my hair. I had left it out initially, but it just kind of like looked too weird and flat. I also went in and added some more uh, blood drips and a cut on my neck because I wanted to make it more clear that that was actually blood. I didn't put any on my face because I, I kind of wanted it to, I wanted to leave the face alone. I wanted everything to be in like the bottom half of the image. So this is the finished painting. Um, I actually did most of it in one night and then a bunch of things got really busy and I didn't end up finishing it until about two weeks later. So the final piece has, has a lot more realism in it than I uh, initially had planned on, but it's not perfectly realistic. Um, I kind of made like subconscious, like almost kind of like Disney-esque uh, changes to the proportions, like for instance, um, my eyes are bigger than in normal life and my nose is a little bit smaller than in normal life, but uh, I think I basically captured the expression that I was looking for. Kind of one of um, betrayal and confusion. Um, and the idea here is, you know, all this ink is, is supposed to be like blood, um, like kind of like death by a thousand cuts kind of a thing. And I feel like that's been really the last three years, <laughs> honestly. Um, just very tiring, wearing me down, you know, and just little things here and there for a really long time. So I like how it turned out. I think it's cool. Um, and interestingly, I think, I think this paper handled it really well. I mean, it's hard to tell, but I did a lot of layers and I think on I think on lower quality paper, um, the paper really would have buckled a lot. I do think it's interesting that it buckled right here. You can see it. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not totally sure why it just did it in the corner, really. I don't, um, I don't think I had like, I mean, I guess I probably had maybe a little bit thicker of a wash here, but I don't think it was a lot. I'm not really sure what that's about. It's kind of strange. <laughs> this was just the speedball. India ink at different levels of dilution in water and it was just tap water and uh, yeah I think it worked pretty well on this paper I'll probably do more things like that and you can also see it really didn't bleed through or anything so 